hello guys this is my minor project which is almost finished now and this is a LED matrix display board and I have named it a, you know a little simple interactive LED matrix display here you can see there is my microcontroller which is doing all the logics and uh, processing for the LED matrix and you can see a button cell over there which is powering the real time clock IC PS1307 and you have this 7805 regulator to get the plus 5 volts regulated supply it is powered by 9 volts adapter can be used uh, even 12 volts but uh, the 7805 will likely heat up more with that and uh, here I have the road drivers these are BD140 PNP transistors and this is my LED matrix as you can see this is a 8 by 96 LED matrix and all the column drivers are connected via this shift register as you can see here I don't know if I can take a closer look yes 74HC595 and I am having 24 of them and this is the keyboard which is used to interface and program the message that you want to display on the screen and that is pretty much it guys let us see how it works now let me explain a little about it powering on and after powering on it displays engineering and a smiley face the interface is very simple as you can see uh, you have a main button to enter into the subroutine for keyboard if you get here you will get main menu now you can either select a still message by caps lock and this SCL key which will, which will display the still message which is stored in the EEPROM of the AVR microcontroller or you can choose to scroll the message the message will scroll actually the full message is you will read it now electronics and communication engineering yes you guessed it right so this is the function of scrolling you can scroll the message and the maximum limit of the length of the message is around 50 for now because I did not want it to use much of EEPROM space as you know EEPROM has limited read and write cycles and also we can display time exit and we get time with date it is a little bit flickering right now but uh, I will work on that I will try to remove that flicker I don't know why it is that why is this happening and also you can set the time by the same menu button and caps lock and then clock you can set the time with this keyboard this numeric keyboard over here and also it has a feature to remember the last state in which the board was there so the last time was board was doing was displaying time so when you even power it off just a second and you power it on it will start displaying the time although time is limit uh, a little bit wrong here so let me set it yeah the time is not right so four seven 10 seconds 23rd oh, 9 
16 pm and you have there let me see if I have entered the time correctly or not yep almost although I wanted to write the time as October but I accidentally wrote it September but you know it is working now the time is right and even if I press the reset key the time is retained because we have the RTC clock backed up by a little cell over here lithium cell and that's it all guys thank you for watching